Hey everybody, it's me, Sean. Welcome back to Production Line. Uh, when we left off, what is going on? This is not what happened when we left off. I mean, I guess it was, right? Whatever's happening right now is also what was happening when we left off. These are, ah, metal sheets. And these are uh, servos, right. Okay, so we have too many metal sheets, a few too many doors many windows got it okay well that's not the end of the world uh, that just means that we could be producing more cars um, so we don't quite have enough vehicles coming from down here huh interesting uh, so that means we could speed up most of this stuff um, so if I were to uh, throw in extra robots I really want to do that. Is it going to speed it up that much? I think I would be better off throwing in, like, uh, like duplicating the uh, things through here. Let's see here. This is two minutes and seven seconds. It's 154, 140, 149, and that's like a minute 40. Hmm. Yeah, it would be a little too much if I duplicated the, if I duplicated that. I mean, eventually I'm gonna want to duplicate and then start doing some triplicates and stuff uh, uh, because we're gonna be able to push even more cars through. Um, but I should wait until our backlog gets through. I feel like the level of production that we have right now is working out pretty well. Now, where, why do we have insufficient resources down here with our? I understand the, uh, we've got the new axle production going on, and I guess it's just, we're just not getting enough axles in to, to keep up with the demand. Well, we definitely want to keep the axles going through as quickly as possible. So I guess I'll throw down one more axle making thingy. Um, so that would be under here, and under here, and right there, and oh, there go. I can put it right there, great, it's already connected up and everything. Uh, configure imports to local only please, there we go, great, okay. Now we'll be producing a few too many, but that's okay, I don't really mind that. So we're producing too many metal sheets, that's fine, too many servos, I would expect that. And we have two door panels, three door panels that are producing too many. So I should be able to get rid of one of those. The windows, we've only got two, so I, I can't really get rid of any of those. I'm gonna leave those like they are. And, okay, all the rest of this is doing just fine. So, uh, yep, more, more research on our rivals. I don't care about them. What was I going to do? Oh, that's right. I was going to try to set up. So I want to move our... Um, I want to move our export. Like, I want to move these lines here out. So that's a make windscreen, and that's a make windscreen. And those are the two things that are kind of in the way for getting out of there. That's also make windscreen. That seems like we might have too many windscreens. I mean, obviously we have too many windscreens, but I don't think we can get rid of both of those. I think we can really only get rid of one. Um, well, we will get rid of both of those, but not like permanently, right? And then we'll just have to wait for uh, wait for a gap to open up in here. And then basically we're gonna move all of the uh, end stuff over to this other area where we can uh, export them a little more quickly. It would've been smarter for me to have all this stuff set up before I started moving stuff over there, huh? As a matter of fact, I'm going to do that. So we're gonna have there and there. 
Oh, we are not going to be able to fit it around that thing. So I need to leave that open. But what I can do is put that stockpile up here. How about right there? That is where I was storing our axles. Add item axle. Maximum only local, please. Thank you. Don't import those. And uh, then our conveyor is going to go like that and like that and then we'll start at the end so we're going to have two export slots eventually we'll be able to have three which will be real nice and I'm going to set up three of those Uh, all right, uh, sell 1,000 cars at a price of $25,000 or higher. Good. Seems, seems like a good accomplishment, if you ask me. Nobody did, but I told you anyways. Hey. Okay. How about that, then? All right. Don't connect up at all. That's how you're going to be. We're going to run you down like that. And we're going to connect you in right there. Very good. Thank you. Okay. So that's the quality check, Fit Electronics. Uh, Fit Electronics is two minutes, so we should be fine with two of those. Um, hmm. Probably should have left a little more space in there. And um, before that is Fit, okay, great, yeah. Now, I don't have air conditioning yet, huh? So I do want to leave room for the air conditioning. I've got Fit Dashboard, which is one minute. So I should actually be able to run everybody through this one Fit Dashboard, right? And split it up. Because, I mean, that's very fast. I don't know. Why, uh... Why not? We've got the money. We can afford to do both. All right, so I'm going to leave room for a fit air conditioning in there. Now, we are making our own windscreen, so we're going to do a fit windscreen. So I want a little room for the air conditioning. Windscreens. Seats. Now, I don't think we're making seats yet, but we can uh, put those over in there. Horn. Uh, so we're already uh, kind of running out of room here. Um, and lights. Oh, wait a minute. Shit, I don't need to do all that because we already have fit windscreen right there. So I don't need any of that nonsense. I was just testing you guys to see if you were paying attention. Um... So fit windscreen, okay, so I can try to figure out where to fit air conditioning in, in here, but I don't need to worry about that quite yet. So we're gonna, we're gonna run this over to here. You're gonna go over and down, and then over and then down. And here we're gonna, okay, so I could put the air conditioning thing in there, I guess. Not quite sure how large that is or whatever, but how, how long is it going to take? Two minutes. Okay, we've got plenty of plenty of time for that then. Great, so like that. And I need to give you guys an importer. Although I could probably fit all of you onto, onto this thing as well, right? Because right now all it's really importing is just steel. And is it even importing steel? Because it seems like the steel is coming from somewhere else. Why are you importing from over there? Why aren't you importing from right here? Like, it seems like this spot is actually closer. Not that it really matters. I guess I can un unhook all that and just hook you directly up on here, I suppose. All right, oh, I need to do, be doing research, huh? Uh, thank you to whoever left me in the comments that I turned off the GUI. Um, for uh, this thing. I turned it back on. There we 
go. Um, let's uh, let's turn back that research on. We were researching advanced technologies for our advanced cars. How many keyless entry? Um, touch screen interface. Uh, you know what? No, these look like good uh, things for um, fancy cars. How do I not have automatic headlights? Weird. Ooh, heated steering wheel. That sounds fancy. Oh, there's our air conditioning. You know what? Let's research that now. <laughs> and then we'll uh, research keyless entry. We'll put that to the ad to... Uh, where did it go? There it is. Add to queue. Okay. Great. People will like their air conditioning. Um, we are backing up on cars a little bit here. Esso's budget, uh, the NCRRs, people are not wanting to buy our budget sports car. Weird, why not? Seems like a nice little car. We'll, we'll mark it down a little bit. I might have to uh, run some advertising here, see if we can clear out our showroom. But it doesn't seem like we're really in any danger of going broke, so we're going to hold off a little bit. And uh, we'll be able to connect up these uh, connect up these new slots here. If we go regular conveyor, run you like that. Okay, and then down like that. Thank you. Nope, don't connect there, please. And uh, we'll get this stuff cleared out of here in a minute. Oh, I did not want to do that. That could cause all sorts of problems. There we go. All right, and uh, get one more car out of there, would you? Very good. Regular conveyor there and to there. And then uh, I suppose there's probably some upgrades and stuff that we should have done over here. Not configure imports, but upgrades like some robots and a heater and a, I don't worry about predictive stock control. Um, robots and a heater please thank you and for this one in car music is that it no nope, not that please bye 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 and uh, for QA there is no upgrades are there over here on the other hand there's computerized sales Computerized sales, there we go. Great, and convey. We'll convey it to there, and you'll convey to there. And then you guys will go like that, and you will go There we go. Great. Now we've got a whole new exit strategy. Um, do need to, uh... oh no, we've got all the windscreens over here, so I don't need to worry about that. I think I do need to make another fit windscreen, or another uh, manu make windscreen spot, maybe? I only have the, no, I have three of them. Doesn't really seem like we have any windscreens. We have a few windscreens sitting idle, so maybe I don't. I'll give it a minute. We'll see. Those compact cars look so tiny. Kind of kind of silly, really. All right, and uh, the exports seem to be exporting in a proper manner. Okay, let's uh, let's put in this uh, air conditioning slot now. Now fit aircon and then make aircon got it. All right, we've got plenty of room for that. Not really over here, so I don't know why I'm even looking. And we'll put another one right there. And we will run a resource conveyor just across like that. And across like that. There you go. Very good. And now you've got your resource to stockpile. Do these guys need any goodies? 
Robots, of course. Hard to go wrong with robots. Oh, huh. So you can start with extra robots too? Okay. If you insist. And uh, I guess we need to um, update our cars with air conditioning, huh? You know what? I think every car deserves air conditioning. I'm not going to be so particular that only some cars get them. And you. And you. And there we go. And Vanilla Hills. Great. All right. And how are we doing on research? Ah, oh, we've uh, researched up that four-wheel drive body. Oh my gosh. Look at all the cars that we've got piled up. We might actually benefit from some advertising at this point. Although, would we? Oh, what kind of profit margin do we make on these? Is there a way for me to see that specifically? Because all I can really see is the... Uh, um, the sale price, but I don't know what our cost is. It's not going to show up in there. And it's not going to show up on any of the uh, markup 5%. So, I mean, that's like $500, right? No. $1,000? I'd have to spend half a million dollars on advertising if I want to try to advertise. I don't think... I, I don't know. I mean, if, if the advertising only lasts for however many hours, it just doesn't seem like it's going to be worthwhile. Hey, look at our backlogs. Our bottlenecks are working their way out. So we're getting to the point where it's actually going to be worthwhile to uh, try to clear up this Fit Brakes bottleneck before too long. Also, I think it would be worth worthwhile to try to uh, to connect up uh, these. Uh... Oh, where did those cars go? That was weird. Oh my gosh. Just uh, hovering the thing over that like disappears those cars. So what, now are all of them going to go up to this one? Okay, good. I was my, my goal was to try to balance out those two lines a little better. Alright, a thousand cars in 50 hours. Doesn't seem like that much of a, an accomplishment to be honest. Whoops. So it seems like what I did was just push the back up onto this line as opposed to this line. That's okay. We are, um, yep. Okay, so our back, our bottleneck has, has mostly been cleared. And we could be producing more cars. But we've got a bottleneck over here now, and it seems to be on the fit rear bumper. And uh, right now we're just going to wait. Uh, oh my gosh, look at that, we're up to $1.5 million? How did that happen so quickly? I probably should be focusing on getting more components manufactured. Um, sure would be nice if I could get a list of what components I'm already manufacturing. I doubt that that uh... actually I kind of can, huh? I mean, I can see either the ones that I'm already manufacturing or the ones that I'm not buying. So what I guess I would want to look at is just what I'm buying, right? So of course I'm buying a lot of steel seats. So I should go to seat manufacturing then. That's our most expensive one. And then powertrain. Um, and where do we install the seats at? We install the seats back over here, right? Um, s 
seats, where are you? There we are, fit seats. So if I install the seats here, oof, where am I gonna manufacture them? I don't think I already have the seat manufacturer. Oh, I do. It takes three minutes. Now, is that three minutes to make one seat or is that three minutes to make four seats? I guess, oh, it only requires two seats. Well, that's weird. Oh, and I need Nappa leather seats too, huh. So can I set you to make both kinds of seats? Well, I can I can definitely fit four seat things in here. Let's start with three. And of course it's gonna be tricky getting all the resources connected or delivered because of the uh, just how much stuff we're trying to bring from this one stockpile. All right. Um, all right, so all you're making is just regular seats. So how do I upgrade to Napa leather seats then? That's all right, we'll figure it out. Um, oh. Am I already making seats? No, 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 it says only local because I have a seat stockpile somewhere around here. There it is, got it. Now does it deliver those seats to the seat thing or does it deliver them to the stockpile first and then, oh, what a mess. Can I run the conveyor? I cannot run the conveyor over the science things, huh? Oh well. It really seems like the graphics on the conveyors have gone downhill in the last, the most recent uh, update. Like they've always been kind of funny, but now they're like even more funny. That's right. Um, okay, uh, this supply stockpile, seats, how about only local now? Seats use steel and leather, huh, well, I mean that makes sense I guess. So we're getting a bit of a backstock, backlog on our uh, resource importer over here. Which is a drag. But we are, look at that, our back, our uh, bottlenecks are cleaning up. Got a nice smooth running um, process here for our cars. They're getting through the different production slots, not causing any problems. We're not running out of, not running out of anything. We're not really having a lot of surplus on anything, which is fantastic. Skip that. How many more researches do we have before we start? Uh, we still have quite a few. Um, before we start doing our new model of cars. Our luxury cars. Still a lot of cars backed up in the stock room. Alright, let's, uh, let's lay down a advertising facility. marketing facility um, wait what new upgrade fit roof oh that must be for open top cars I guess I don't know who knows all right well we've opened up the uh, convertibles which is great um, so okay marketing department you're gonna go right here so we can put a little effort into marketing um, we're going to need to design a couple of different car models, but I still want to figure out, I still want to finish up on the, the research, uh, uh, for advanced features, um, before I design our luxury car models. And, um, yeah, I'd say things are going really well. We're not stockpiling a huge amount of extra cash, but we're not in any trouble either. And we still have, we're still going to need to do some remodeling. 
Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not quite sure how we're going to do some remodeling, but um, if we're going to want to increase our production, uh, you know, we're going to have to we're going to have to move like this whole segment in here. We're going to have to put up in here, I guess. I don't really want to have to, I mean, we could redo the painting, yeah, actually. We could just move the painting up into here and then redo, you know, however much of this is necessary up into here. But on the other hand, we do have the manufacturing for a lot of these things right here, too. So, I don't know, but we can worry about that in a future episode. I hope you guys are having a good time. If you are, you know what to do. Click that like button. Leave me a comment. I always want to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Makes me very happy to see how many people enjoy my videos and channel. Um, so thanks a lot, you guys, for watching. I just said that, and I will say it again. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.